Data is at the center of most business strategies. You will read everywhere that organizations want to be data-driven, AI-powered and that data is a strategic capability. Global investments in data and AI are increasing with 20% annually. But how do organizations make sure that they get the most out of their investments? In today's Capgemini Invent Talks, I am joined by our data strategy expert, Adrian Freke. Why are we seeing such strong growth in data and AI investments? I think it's because uh, businesses that apply data to their business challenges uh, generate an enormous amount of value. Uh, there are several ways they can do that. Uh, for example, for optimizing processes, um, you can uh, decrease your cost by doing that. Uh, for creating a better customer experience, uh, growing revenues uh, because of that. You can also manage risks by pre uh, predicting events. And finally, you can even use it to make your products better or even uh, to get into whole new lines of business. For example, credit card companies, they do much more than just uh, issuing credit cards nowadays. Mm. They have a lot of point of sale data that they sell to their customers that want to know where their products are being sold and by whom and at what time. And do organizations always succeed in realizing these benefits? No, unfortunately not. Uh, you can't just throw money at a problem and expect it to be solved. I see a lot of uh, local data initiatives within organizations that are not linked to each other, that are not scaled, uh, where it's very unclear what kind of value these initiatives deliver. Uh, I see, see short-term plans, and that all leads to uh, misdirected capital, uh, mm. missing chances in the market, and, and moving slower than your competitors do. So data can bring a lot of value, if I understand you correctly, but there's also a risk that these investments don't uh, pay off. So what should organizations do to avoid this? What they should do, they should set up uh, a data strategy and renew it every two years. And the way to do it, I wouldn't say it's easy, but you start with your corporate strategy, and I hope you have one. Uh, you break it down in strategic goals. Uh, you look at your data ambitions and initiatives. Uh, you need to link each of them to those strategic goals. Uh, you need to take that uh, and create uh, an engaging story of it, listing all your challenges that, you, that you're having, uh, the ambition, but also your past accomplishments. Because this is a document that should inspire people. Um, it should get you buy-in. Uh, the reason for that is uh, after a data strategy, you have a data transformation. And you need to have as many people on board as possible before you start it. Otherwise, you will fail. And, and I can't stress enough, uh, focus on why this change should happen. How it should happen is for later. First, you need to convince people why it needs to happen. So of all these investments that organizations are making in data and AI, I think it's safe to say that they should spend at least a part of it uh, to set up a strong data strategy, right? That's where you start. Thank you, Adrian, for these insights. Thank you. Thank you for watching this episode of Capgemini Invent Talks. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>